Hey, how's it going? Today, we're doing a cave run. So the past couple videos, we've been working on our little Sabertooth army, getting them all tamed, getting them raised up, doing breeding, all that good stuff. I think we're kind of set. We've got a decent saddle. we got a almost 60 armor saddle to take with us. And then I think that'll be good, man. The artifact cave we're going into is the one that's kind of close by base here. It's the lava one that's right over there, just along the coast. So a very short flight, it's, it's not safe. I can tell you that right now, but we'll see how the sabers work out. Let me show you before we go what we have. So at the end of the last video, we had these two guys here raising up, and then I actually got twins, man. So it's not too bad. We got the perfect colors on them. They are both males, which kind of sucks. It'll be nice to have females so we can do more breeding, but they're not bad, man. They got all the good stats on them. So we got 1620 on the health, 980 on the stamina. Our weight is 345 and 297 on the damage. So kind of excited about that. That was literally the first pair that I had after I was done recording. I was gonna try to get some more little ones and that's what I kind of came out with. So super happy, man. Finally got some good stat ones. We are taking probably both today. I should probably leave one just in case, but I want to take both. That way we can kind of change in between, seeing how they don't have any levels. And I think they are raised up all the way, right? They are. Everything's fully matured and everything else. Imprinting's fully done. So we'll grab our good saddles. We got a 53 and a 58 armor. Throw on those. We'll put them into the cryos and should be good to go. Let's drop off some of these berries. One of them wanted berries for our, one of the uh, imprints. Kind of worries me when they want that. It's kind of weird. A meat eater wanting those. Leave those in there, and I think all we got to do is, I was making up some ammo in here. Need to repair our armor, don't I? Yeah, we do a little bit. We'll get the rest of our shotgun ammo make it up, and then we can head right over. I still have not made any paints for doing my armor. Kind of want to here soon. All right, let's do this. We need to grab some grapples as well, and an antidote. Just in case, if it's the cave that I'm thinking of, there is a ton of bats in there, and centipedes. I mean, there's always bats and centipedes, but I think there's even more in this one. Or bats and spiders, one or the other, and there's lava. So, not super excited about that. Because I don't know on this map if the lava is insta-death or not. I'm not sure what the tick rate is. 66, that should be enough. And then, I think we're kind of good to go. Let's drop these up here, like we usually do. We can leave those. Kind of worried about weight is a thing. We've got all of our cryos, and let's grab... I leave it in here? The antidotes? I don't think you can put them in here, can you? I'm gonna take all of our medical brew, which I do need to make some more of. Antidotes. Let's put that down on our hot bar. Definitely need that just in case. We need a crossbow here. Put this down here. And then let's grab our good shotgun. That's the one that has the attachment for a flashlight. Not sure if we need it with the lava cave. Okay, there we go. Everything is, for the most part, reloaded. Put those in there, and then reload this one as well. We're taking both shotguns, just in case. One's good for close range, which is this one. Does more damage. The other one's good for the light and long range. Ah, we should probably repair... That might be alright. That's gonna be super expensive. Well, let's just repair it. Just in case, man. What are we missing? A little bit of fiber. Oh, you know what? We can't. I don't have any fiber. Ah... Let's grab some. Let's get our armor. I have no pants. It feels really weird running around with no pants. I don't want that. All right. Let's grab some fiber. We'll jump on the cats and probably go over on... I guess maybe the pterodon. It's a short flight. We shouldn't be bringing back much. Now, it would be nice if we actually found some of the loot drops in the caves. Haven't seen any of those. I mean, we did one, but it was kind of guarded by <laughs> the massive amount of piranhas and sarcos. I don't know how much we need it. Let's grab 400, 500. That'll be like two stacks. And dude, I tell you what, I really need to go on a meat run. I have gone through so much with those sabers, raising them up. It's kind of a crazy amount. I think here coming up soon, maybe in the next video, we'll start trying to get some of the megatheriums. That's what we're using on the broodmother. So we need that, and then we need some UDs. So we can find both of those up in the cold area, I think. If I remember right, on the snow mountain by the blue obelisk. If so, we'll go ahead and try to tame... Maybe one of each at the same time? <laughs> I don't know. It's the UDs, dude. They got me super nervous. I repair you. There's some more ammo. So 65 shots plus both shotguns are full. And we've got that. I think we're set. I always forget something. We got the antidotes. Oh, bug spray. I was going to try the bug spray thing with the cats. I mean, it doesn't help out very much, but if we need to get out of there, it might help us out a little bit. We have some. We do. 
Let's take that. Should we take the gilly? Probably, right? Two sixty on the durability. Ninety-seven. This one for sure. We've got one eleven, one hundred six. Doesn't matter. Let's take this one. Better armor. One twenty-three. I'm mainly looking for durability. I mean, that's kind of the main thing. We've got some good armor, though. I've been looting a lot of these. 276, that is fantastic. And then a headpiece. 138, 139. Let's do this one. We're going to take our black as well, just in case it's as backup. All right, so what is our weight at? 130, that's not too bad. We should be good over here on the cats, right? Let's grab our two good saddles. That is not one of them. Let's move you over here. I need to sort these guys out. I'm getting quite a few. This is a spare one. I'll still do some breeding. I want to get some mutations. And then all those are spares. And then these are the two we're going to use. Should be good, right? You are. That's a male. Extra one. Let's grab some saddles. Nope. The tails. I'm stuck on the tails. There we go. 53. And 58. Ah, dude, I can't believe I finally got some good colors. I wish it would have been a male and a female. I've got twins before, where it had both male and females in there. But, didn't happen this time. Let's go ahead and do some into damage. So we should get points very, very fast on these guys. Kind of excited about that. It's a good way to level them, but, I mean, it's bad at the same time, right? You're taking them into an artifact cave. <laughs> High level stuff. And they don't have any points into anything. Let's put you down here. If we have to, if we go to lose one, we will throw out the other one right away and jump on it. That's, uh, that's kind of the plan with taking two. Now, I didn't think about taking two at first, but it kind of works out a little bit. Are we good? Grab a little bit of water. We got some water over there. Because we're right on the coast. I think we're kind of set. Ah, dude, I am so nervous about this cave. Let's close you. While we're up here, we need to check on our gas and this guy. We're not doing too bad. I still want to get some of the other preserving bins set up here and get that just for jerky. We might do that today, depending. And we have, before we go, double check and see if we need to grab any obsidian. We got 20 in there. Oh, we got plenty. We got plenty. We can make the artifact pedestal whenever we get back. Wanted to make sure I didn't want to come back here and then have to go right back out again. Especially since we're taking the little bird, right? How are you doing? Speaking of that, what is our weight at? 130. Let's put this into stamina. So this guy, right? Yep, I know, dude. I know. Look, Junior, it's exciting. I know, you got another point. But this guy. So here's the thing, dude. He was over here in the last video. I was like, you know what? That's kind of cool. Let's leave him over here. Be kind of neat. However, he's a swimmer. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Well, I don't want it. Uh, this might turn out bad. Let's nibble on him. Bring him this way. Maybe the sharks will get him. Yep. There you go. Float over here, dude. Get away from my base, please, and thank you. I was going to leave him because it looked kind of neat, right? His little head would poke up over the uh, the roof there when he's up on top of the rock. And it just looked neat, but I don't want him up at our base all the time. We'll take care of him whenever we get back. If we get back. We might not. You never know. Like I said, it is the lava cave. Anyways, let me get up here. I will show you the coordinates in case you don't know where it's at. We will head in, hopefully not die, and come back out with an artifact. Dude, I flew right over this place. Totally forgot where it was. I thought it was down a lot further. But here's where we're going. It's not too far. The rough coordinates are 70.7 .7 and 86.1. I'm going to bring you right here. Let's go ahead and we'll take this guy out. We'll leave the other one on the hot bar. I'll tell you what, let's not actually throw him out yet. Let's get inside just to make sure. I'd hate to throw him out here and have to wait out the timer just to go in. We'll probably replace a GPS with our other cat. And let's use... Ah, should we use a bug spray? Let's wait until we're going to leave. I kind of want to use it as a get out of jail free card if we need to. It is super dark in here. I can't remember exactly where the creatures start. Turn the lights back down. There we go. Try to get in as far as we can. As soon as we see creatures, we'll go ahead and throw out the cats. But yeah, I think all this crystal, I think, is harvestable. Let's, uh, let's check real quick. Oh, it is. Fantastic. We can actually reach it all, too. 
So we don't have to go in very far. Probably can't use the Anki or anything. That kind of sucks, but that's not too bad. It's an easy way to get some crystal. Let's turn that back on. You can already hear the lava and see the heat. Uh, dude, I am not excited about this one. I mean, I kind of am. Little bits. They're fun. I mean, they're fun once you got the artifact and you're heading back out, right? <laughs> that way you know you're not going to die. I see bat wings already. All right, let's do this. Let's throw out one of the cats. And don't forget, like I said, it's going to be kind of hard because we don't have any points into these guys. Should we do the torch? I think we'll go ahead and put the torch on this guy. Just so that we can see. We shouldn't be hot with the armor that we have on, right? With the ghillie? Alright, dude. Let's bring a couple of you at a time. Scorpions. I thought there were spiders in here. There might be still. So we're doing 77 damage. That's it. Oh, dude. It's gonna be a very, very long cave run. We might use... We're doing 115. We might use the shotgun to soften some of the bats up and stuff. Just start doing that now. We'll call them over. Soften them up. I need to remember to reload. Okay, there's a bunch of them. Look, I did not want all of those. I want to try to keep some of the chitin if we can. We can definitely use a bag of base for cement base. That's not too bad. We're getting some levels pretty quick. I wish we would have gotten an explorer note beforehand. Now, there might be one in here. I think all the caves have them in there. It's not something I really look for because on our other series, we're usually up to max level already, right? And I'm not a Explorer Note collector very much. There we go. Nice, man. Nice. All right, we got four. Let's do some into this. Some into that. And it's not too hard to keep them. Oh, you know what? I need to... I know, dude. I know. Come on. We can't sit in here forever. I need to grab all the meat from these guys. Just to do some healing. Let's clear this area out. And then I'll stop and heal. Oh, there's two different ways. I thought it was only one, one path. A lot of dillos. Why are the dillos in here? Has there always been dillos? Kind of makes it hard to come in here on foot, you know? Drop some of this weights. We're gonna get super heavy, super fast. I'll tell you what, we'll keep some of this and some of that. We got a ton of meat too. Let's just hold on to it. I'll give them this one stack here and then we'll kind of continue on. We do have the other cat just in case we need to change them out too. So if I remember right, there should be a lava pool at the bottom, and we'll have to use the grapple to get across. That's kind of one reason that we brought it. I don't think there's a direct path to get over to it. Yep, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Hopefully the cat doesn't fall asleep either. It's nice seeing some low-level bats too, versus the level 100s and stuff. I think this is the only map where the cave creatures aren't like level 300. <laughs> it's kind of nice. I mean, the cave down below in the water that we have to go to, that's a lot of stuff, dude. Those got some high-level cave creatures, I know for sure. We'll put this other point into probably damage, I think. I think our health's not too bad, around 2,000. Really wish we had some mutations into health. Make me feel a little bit better. Health or damage. We're doing fine. <gasps> we got rabies! So here's the thing, we should be able to outlive it, but we don't have very much on a medical brew. Let's go ahead and kill these guys off, and then we'll use one of the antidotes. Right, so there's the antidote. We're fine, we're fine. So that does protect us, right? Yeah, we're temporarily immune. Oh, fantastic. Let's drop a lot of this stuff. We got a lot of stuff. Let's do all damage. We'll drop a lot of the meats. Give me a second, let me heal this guy up. I'm gonna feed him as much as we can, instead of just dumping the meat. And then we'll kind of continue on. I think we're still good. We might drop some of the hide, if anything. It's the chitin that I really want to keep. Super lightweight anyways, versus the, the hide, right? All right, we're kind of good to go here. We'll keep a little bit of meat. Didn't take too much to get them all healed up. Here we go. Let's do this. Do like last time, soften them up just a little bit. A couple shotgun shells never hurt anybody, except for the bats. Okay, we're reloading, we're reloading. Always reloading! So that might be the thing to do, since we have all the greenhouse stuff, is just make some of the antidotes and just take them beforehand. <laughs> we don't get rabies too often, but, I mean, it does happen, obviously, right? 
Now we can normally out heal it, but I don't have that much medical brew. If I had two stacks of medical brew with us, we would definitely not have to have the the uh, antidote, right? Okay. Doing fine. We're doing fine. It's a lot of bats. It is a cave. There we go. 150. Yep, they're getting higher level for sure. I don't know why the Dillos aren't attacking us. Maybe because we're on the saber? Nope, it's gonna take us now that we hit it. My bad, dude. Look. Oh, that was a bat that hit it. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Let's leave them alone. They're leaving us alone. We'll leave them alone. There's the spiders. I knew they were in here. We're already down to less than a minute on our lesser antidote. We only got one left, too, right? It's fine. It's fine. Stay down there, dude. It's gonna follow us. Okay. I did not see that there's a crack in the ground. Let's use this one. There we go. A lot more damage. There's a spider. That's why you never leave creatures behind you. They always come at the last seconds. That's the other one that we threw off the cliff. All right, we're getting pretty low health on the cats. A little nervous. Let's get the shotgun out. A little bit more damage. Okay. We should be good. I gotta heal the cat up for sure after this, this round of bats. We got five seconds left on our antidote. If I get rabies right away again, I am not gonna be happy. Doing fine, we're doing fine. Cat is fairly low. All right, man, how many points have we got? We got four, let's do... He did up to 2,000. I feel good there. All right, let me heal this guy up once again. <laughs> and then we'll continue. I'm not sure how long this cave is. Hopefully it's not too much further, but I'm kind of worried about the end where we have to use a grapple just because, ah, man, so much room for error. I probably should have brought some parachutes just in case. That way, if anything, I could float down and float across, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Probably should have kept all that extra meat that we had because we have got 14 pieces left, and that is it. Right, let's not fall down into the lava. That would be terrible. I think it's nice, slow, and easy. And then we'll run. <laughs> let's kill these guys off for a little bit of meat. Ton of crystal in here. Holy crap, dude. I mean, you gotta fight your way in to get it. We good? Thought I heard some bats back there. Let's turn the lights up just so it's a little bit easier to see. It's kind of washed out looking, but it'll be fine. So this should be where the artifact is down here. There's a ton of bats, too. Ah, oh, dude, we're going to go this way, I think, to the right. Try to avoid those bats. Hopefully those bats are not on the little island that the artifact's on. We got launched by something. Holy crap, dude. Right into the bats. And spiders. Don't forget the spiders. Ah, uh, we're taking Torpor on the cat, like, a lot. It's starting to actually show. There we go, there we go. 86 is all we're doing for damage. We really need to get some points into this guy for sure. Once we get up around 100 or so, it's not too bad, right? 200. There we go. How's your Torpor? It is still going up. <laughs> please, please do not fall asleep, dude. I don't know at what level that they fall asleep, but I think it's kind of high. All right, we're good there. Got another point. So... I'm not sure where the artifact is. I know, Junior, quit celebrating! This kind of goes around this way. It's fine, it's fine. We're gonna follow it until we see the artifact. There we go. Nice, man, nice! Ah, dude, the chitin is fantastic! The bats? Not so much. Wait, is this... Is that where the artifact is? Maybe not. Is it deeper? I see stuff back there. That might be where the artifact is. Can we run and jump that? Oh, dude, do not shove me in there! There's a path up here. It might not lead anywhere. There's a Dillo standing there. Let's take a look and see. We might have to just use the grapple. You know, throw the one cat into a cryo. Okay, just loops around. Right, right, right. Well, we could try to run and jump. 
There's a scorpion right there. Let's try to get his attention. Junior! Come his way! He does not care at all about us. Let's do this. Put that in there. Let's drop this. Let's... Ah, that is a ton of chitin. Let's drop some of this. Kind of worried about our weight. I want to run and just jump across. It's a horrible idea. I'm going to call it now. Terrible idea! Yep! Got bounced right across. Again, I don't know if that's insta-kill lava or not. Depends on what the tick rate is. Those bats kind of throw you around, too. We're fine, we're fine. I think that is the artifact right there. Now, getting back across is going to be a little bit more tricky. We can't just run and jump it. Go this way. <laughs> There's less lava to accidentally fall into if this kind of loops around. I hope it does. I thought about running with two of the cats out in here, but, I mean, this being a lava cave, there's no way, dude. No way. Put you up a little bit. Let's drop a little bit of meat, too. I wanted to kind of keep it just to heal up, but we're getting very, very heavy on weight. I think some of the other cats have, like, 408 once they're imprinted on the weight. I might try to work on that, too. Seems how we got so many artifact caves left. There we go, there we go. Ton of bats. I like it. Fantastic, we are out of ammo! Look, just shoot. We'll hit something. It's fine, it's fine. Ton of stuff, man! Holy crap, dude! I wish I could bite with the cat and reload at the same time. It's just you can't, right? We haven't got rabies again, so that's kind of fantastic. There we go, there we go. Yeah, it's always nice to see him start dying off. Two more. Let's reload while we're out of the way. Soften them up some. Yep, get in front of the shotgun, please. I am not good at aiming. <laughs> Especially when walls are involved. So the thing I'm worried about is if I have to grapple over to the artifact, if there's bats over there, I have to fight them on foot. I mean, it's not going to happen. I'm going to throw one of the cats out, but it's going to be a point in time where we are not on a creature, right? Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, we got a level up too! Oh, fantastic! All right, let's do damage. A little bit of health on you. We're going to do... Let's do one more into health, and then we'll do weight. What unlocked? Nothing that we want. Compound bow and metal arrows. 80s next, we get the forge next. Not sure if we're gonna build it in this map. We might. Alright, let me heal this guy up again, and then we'll kind of press on. I think we're almost there. I hope so. We're kind of getting full on kite, and I don't want to dump that. Let's reload everything while we have a second. Ah, there we go. There's the artifact. I can't remember what the name of this one is. We'll kind of see whenever we get up here. Let's reload you too. Let's call Junior over. Got a scorpion coming too? Where did the where'd the bat go? Okay, look. <laughs> he went he went to grab a friend. So that scorpion kind of four-wheel drive right out of the lava, so we might be able to do with the cat as well. Yep, go back in, man. It is bath day. Enjoy the sauna. Okay, or not, or not. Four-wheel drive, they got four-wheel drive. I think we're gonna run and jump across over there. And then we should be able to run and jump back across here. Now I say we should because it doesn't mean that we will. Let's drop some weight. That is a huge factor for us jumping. We got another point. I think our health is decent. I hate having to stop all the time. We could jump from up there. But I'd rather have to, uh... Have to stop and heal all the time than have not enough damage. Please jump! Okay, whoa! There's another... Another area there. Oh, we could have just ran right across that one. It's fine, it's fine. We're gonna clear all the bats out here because I do not want to have to deal with them. While I'm using a grapple. Let's call the ones from over here over. Wrong one. You! Bring your friend too, please. Let's get this one out. It'll help out. We go. Good shot on you. And you. Three bats. We'll get rid of these guys. Get rid of the scorpions. And I'm going to use some of the bug spray. That way if I get over there and there is something, maybe we'll be safe. Safe-ish. I mean, we're never safe, man. We're in a lava cave. Surprised we haven't got rabies again. 
it's kind of rare for us to get it, but... All right, Junior, look. You have got to stay here. I'm using one of those. Let's uh, make sure you're on passive. Make sure you're not following. Over we go. Nice, man. Artifact of the Massive. That's what that one is. Nice, dude. Nice. All right. One more grapple. There we go. And then we should be able to jump across. Please make it. Okay. Let's put this into damage as well. Let's go up to 378. We got some good points on this guy. I mean, you figure we came in with nothing. I should take the other one on the way out just to get some points, but it's fine, man. It's fine. Let's backtrack real quick before everything starts to spawn back in. Now here, I'm not too sure about. We might have to... Ah, we definitely got to throw him off. I wonder if the other way loops around without having to do that. It's fine. Look, let's just do it. The main thing I want is all of this. We'll keep some of the meat, too. All right, Junior. Back in here for a minute. Takes forever. Let's reload this. There's a scorpion already over there. Reload this. Reload. Reload! Okay. Throw the cat back out. Nice, man. Nice! Ah, dude, that's fantastic. I think that's the last little bit of lava that we have to cross. Yep, some bats are already coming back in. We are going to run straight out if we can. I don't want to stop to fight anything else. Some more Dillos. Kind of weird how they're not attacking the Saber. Yep. Very slow through here. Very slow. I almost ran off that. Can't believe there's no loot crates. That kind of sucks. But, I mean, at least there's creatures, right? It's like... One or the other. Usually spawns in. Do we go right here, or is it straight? We'll go right. Wait, what is left? Or what is that way? Another way around? I don't know. I don't want to mess with it. <laughs> Maybe we'll do some exploring later on. Watch, that's going to be where the only loot crate was. We bypassed it. Fine with that. I'm fine with that. Hey, look, we made it out with two cats, an artifact, a ton of chitin, and nobody died. Got some good points, too. Nice, man. There's the outside with a raptor. Boy, I tell you what. It was staged. Come over here. There's got to be two of you. I see the... The alpha bonus. Level 5, though. Super low level. Alright. He's somewhat safe. Let's get on the beach. We'll throw out the bird. I am not gonna try to do it over here where I can't see anything. Turn our lights back down. We good? We alright? So, it turns out, too, about the jellyfish. A lot of people left me comments. The thing that was causing problems and made them float a couple videos ago was I had the prevent hibernation setting on. And that was causing the uh, the issues. So I went ahead and removed that. And then everything's back to normal. It's kind of weird. Apparently it's an old bug that happened a lot. I've never seen it before. But uh, I mean, it's the first time for everything, right? Good. Let's pick you up. I didn't even check the timer before I threw the... <gasps> he does have cryo sickness! So here's the thing. How quick... He's going to wake up fairly fast. He'll be all right. Let's throw out the... Oh, wait. You know what? I can't throw out the other cat either. Let's put on our flak. Wait. How much armor do we have? 463? 500. Okay. We're good here. We're good here. Let's uh, let this guy wake up. <laughs> I gotta watch the cryo timers, man. It's gonna take a minute to... I mean, it's going down fairly fast. I wish you could feed them stem berries and have it wake them up. It just doesn't work out with, with tames. It's weird. It's weird. You figure it would. But hopefully no raptors spawning. All right. <sighs> Junior needed a nap. He's all tuckered out from sitting in a crowd pod for the whole artifact cave and doing absolutely nothing. It's fine. It's fine. Let him get his sleep. So here's the thing, man. I'm not exactly sure what to do about that guy. I could shoot him and ride off. We might do that and try to kill him with the cat. I don't want him by base, man. My base is made out of thatch and wood. <laughs> One swipe would destroy everything. Well, not destroy it, but definitely damage it. Hmm, let's see. Let's get up over here on his rock. Shoot him once. See if we can kind of call him over. Might be able to just pelt him with some shotgun shells and kill him off. Yep, come this way, man. Come this way.
Get on the bird. Get on the bird. I had to drop all my extra meat and stuff because the bird was overweight. Dude, I had a little dillo came by. Right as the bird woke up, started getting attacked. It's like, come on, dude. Come over here, man. Make it easier for me to kill you. It is super hard to see with the rain, man. Holy crap, dude. Couple more shots. Let's reload. Reload. Please reload. I don't think he can swipe in the water anyways. Come this way, man. Look, if you would have spawned in over here, could have left you alive, would have been safe. I think he's stuck still, right? Yep, 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 yep. Stay there, man, stay there. You're good, you're good. It is super deep right there, huh? Are you dead? Nope, he's... <laughs> He's very much alive. He just stuck. Now he's dead. Okay, good. Good. Look. We're gonna leave him there. I need the meat and stuff, but we'll come back if we can. I can't hardly see because of the rain and stuff. Yeah, it kind of sucks I had to drop all that extra meat just to be able to fly back. So, not too bad. Drop some stuff off in here. I do have all of the chitin, though. So that is fantastic. Turn the lights back down. Let's drop all this into here. Nice, man. Nice. That'll all probably get made up into some paste. Got a ton of it. Won't make very much, but regardless, we have it. Drop this back in here. And then... Drop our gear off, too. Why are you cold, dude? It's because we were outside in the rain, isn't it? Alright, so... Artifact pedestal. Little bit of you. Where do we want to put it as a thing? I was thinking we could put them down here. Instead of up there for right now. I don't know. I kind of like them up there though too. But there's absolutely nothing down here. Let's do that. Let's start putting some down here. Put this one maybe in this corner. We'll grab another one and set it in that corner. Just so we have some down here. So let's grab some stuff for a second one. Wait. Need you to craft. There we go. Put you there. And you in there. Nice, man. Nice. A little bit of light. And we'll grab one of these. It'll kind of break up all the green that's up here. Oh. There we go. Eat some food. Need to put some air conditioners in here. Seems how we got so many left over. We could. Ah, it's going to be noisy, though, isn't it? Let's leave it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. What is the temperature? Why are we so cold? 17. Is there a cold wave going on? That might have been why it's so hard to see outside. There we go, man. Nice, dude. Nice. Oh, man. Well, not too bad of a day. We got another artifact. Plus, we got some levels on the sabers, which is fantastic. I think those are going to be good for the cave runs. I definitely want to start taking two in each one, just in case we need to switch out and we don't have food to heal one up. Next video, we're going to go ahead and start working on the megatheriums. I need to look to see what kind of kibble we need for those. So we might have to do some taming before we do taming. That way we can get some creatures to produce some eggs. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked the Lava Cave Artifact Run today. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.